First autonomous x-ray analyzing AI is cleared in Europe. That's it. Radiology's finished. I'm out of a job. I knew I should have been a surgeon. Or is this all hype? For those of you who are new here, I'm Vron, I'm a radiology trainee in the UK. Today we had some very interesting news in the world of radiology and artificial intelligence. Chestlink, the AI algorithm we are talking about today, recently made headlines as it's the first autonomous AI system to be given CE mark certification, think FDA approval, but in Europe. Today I'll be talking about what this autonomous AI system is, a brief background of AI and radiology, and what I think is going to happen in the future. Am I going to have a job? Or will I be a full-time YouTuber? Firstly, a brief background of what AI is. AI, or artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence in computers to aid the acquisition, reconstruction, or interpretation of studies. So whilst AI and radiology is often thought of as it replacing radiologists by producing a final report, from that definition you can see that a lot of uses are to do with the acquisition of data, so producing CT scanners that can scan faster, producing better quality images for the radiologist, or even reducing the dose of radiation from a single scan. Before Cheslink, all AI systems in use have had to have oversight of a radiologist, which means they're essentially helping a radiologist, not replacing them. Cheslink, however, has been cleared for use to produce a radiology report without any oversight or inputs from a radiologist. Specifically, Cheslink is for chest x-rays, as you may have guessed from the name. It will automatically generate a report on any chest x-ray which is confident is normal, and if it functions as advertised, it's quite impressive. In fact, Occipit, the company which produced Cheslink, have said it made zero clinically relevant errors during its pilot deployment at various test sites. However, that's not to say that it's diagnosing pneumothoraces, lung cancer, or any other pathology. In fact, Cheslink will only report on those x-rays which is sure are completely normal. Anything which it thinks is abnormal or even unsure about will be left for radiologists to report on. Nonetheless, this will significantly reduce the workload for radiologists. Imaging requirements have been increasing exponentially over the past few years, and a recent survey said that in the UK alone, there's a shortage of around 2,000 radiologists. Furthermore, lots of NHS hospitals have massive backlogs of imaging, unreported, and that includes chest x-rays. Considering it takes at least 12 years, if not more, to produce radiologists, this shortage isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Truth is, there aren't enough radiologists and there's too much imaging. Over the past few years in the UK, we have taken a number of steps to try and mitigate against this. One of them, for example, is training the radiographers, if you're American, that's a radiology tech, to report on certain types of x-rays, which includes chest x-rays and more commonly musculoskeletal x-rays. This frees up the radiologists to look at an ever-increasing number of CT scans, MRI scans, and do further interventions as well. A lot of chest x-rays performed end up being normal. Occipit, the company which made Chestlink, said that up to 80% of chest x-rays performed in the community, i.e. primary care, end up being normal. If Chestlink is as good as Occipit says it's going to be, then hopefully in the future it can be used to stay on top of the workload for both radiologists and radiographers reporting chest x-rays. As you can see from this picture, a chest link is hardly going to replace a radiologist or reporting radiographer. Well, doesn't this pave the way for other, better, more advanced autonomous reporting systems to replace you in the future? Well, there certainly is a breakthrough. However, each AI algorithm only has a single use. This means that AI algorithms produced at the moment can only be used for specific abnormalities. So, for example, chest link can only be used for abnormal versus normal. Certain other AI algorithms may only be used for lung nodule detection, while other ones may be used for fracture in certain specific parts of the body. There is no AI algorithm which can detect and characterize all the abnormalities in all the different parts of the body. One of the reasons for this is that AI algorithm needs to be trained on huge amounts of data. Often this data needs to be labeled and curated and this labeling and curation can be very, very time intensive. Let's say you're trying to produce an algorithm to detect a certain type of tumor. You would need hundreds of thousands of images which then need to be labeled from a particular cohort of patients. Cohorts in the patients will again be very time intensive because you need to make sure they have a certain type of histology and other metrics from the health data as well. This means producing even a basic algorithm even before you start testing it is very, very time intensive. Furthermore, access to this data can be very difficult as well. This is because of privacy laws which prevent companies and governments from accessing your private data. And these laws are getting stricter and stricter by the day for good reason. People obviously don't want the data easily available to governments or private corporations. This means the use of AI is currently limited to mundane, repetitive, and frankly arduous tasks which the radiologists do not want to be doing. From personal experience, I recently reported on a CT scan which linked complex findings from the chest, abdomen and vasculature and had to put this together in a coherent report to try and come up with a differential diagnosis and possible management plan for the patient. After spending a good 30 minutes doing this and five minutes having a chat with my consultants regarding it, I then had to spend another couple of minutes combing through the lungs looking for lung nodules. This isn't an interesting task, it's not a difficult task, but it certainly is someone that's important and it's quite easy to miss these lung nodules, especially after you've reported a complex scan like this, which has used up a lot of your brain power. So as you can see, AI in this case would be a very welcome addition. Aside the challenges of labeling the data and even acquiring the data, there are further hurdles to be overcome by AI in radiology. What happens if the AI algorithm is trained in a certain hospital, which acquires the data in certain ways, and then you try and use the algorithm in a different hospital, which acquires the images in a different way, using different scanners and different radiographers? It's not quite so easy to standardize the acquisition of images as one might think. What happens if AI makes a mistake and misses something? 
Who's responsible then? Who's legally liable for that? What happens if AI is trained in a certain part of the world with a certain ethnic makeup of patients and is deployed in a different part of the world where that ethnicity is less representative? Is AI going to introduce a racial bias into its reports? What happens if we as radiologists just reject AI? What I mean by this is AI is not one day going to come and replace radiologists all of a sudden. Its use has to be gradual, slow and incremental and that can only happen if radiologists are willing to accept it as a useful and viable tool. This means that very importantly it has to have a user-friendly interface and the radiologist has to be able to use it quite easily. The few AI algorithms which I've seen used in hospitals in the UK have been very clunky, slow and difficult to use and ultimately in one case the hospital decided to turn it off after buying this algorithm because it was increasing the workload for the radiologist not decreasing it. Now whilst I'm sure there's some very very smart people working on these challenges I'm sure one day they will overcome some of them it shows that the implementation of AI in radiology is fraught with challenges. Ultimately the job of a radiologist is not to produce binary discrete data rather it's to produce a clinically useful and coherent report which is something that no one can see AI mimicking not even the AI companies, at least within our lifetime. This complexity of a radiologist's job is one that is often misunderstood and underplayed by the AI is going to take over radiology gang. A recent saying I heard is that AI isn't going to replace radiologists. Rather, the radiologist who embraces AI is going to replace the radiologist who doesn't. I could keep going on and on about this topic, but let's call it a day there. If you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to our channel. Apart from all of that, I'll see you guys same place, same time next week.